Hi everybody, Dr. Elena here. It's 610, so I'm going to start talking. And I want to talk to you about a few things. We're going to do the meditation today, of course, like we always do. But I want to talk a little bit beforehand, okay? And what I want to talk about is the fact that today is Earth Day. April 22nd is Earth Day. And what happened just a few minutes into Earth Day last night? We had an earthquake. We had an earthquake. So it's kind of like shaking things up. It's like, okay, we got the virus. We're dealing with all of that. Let's give us a little more to kind of shake us up and make us really, really think about what's going on and what we need to do here. So we had a little bit of an earthquake. Not a gigantic one, but it's interesting because last night at dinner, I said to my husband, I had a flash, we're going to have an earthquake. And he said, oh my God, please God, not an earthquake. And we had an earthquake last night, right as we came into Earth Day. So this is about today, Earth Day is about getting in tune with the Earth. We are part of the Earth. We live on the Earth, getting in touch with all of that and really aligning ourselves. Something else I want to talk to you about too. I don't know if you've seen this going around on the internet, but I'm going to kind of just read to you this little thing here. Uh, this is something that was posted by a yoga teacher and he posted something along the lines of, now you have all this time and if you aren't learning a new skill or getting really dialed in on your yoga or being extremely creative when you have all this time, you never really had the motivation and the discipline to do it in the first place. And I thought, that's not cool. We're going through a very challenging time right now. And a lot of people are telling me that they just don't feel motivated. They tell me that it doesn't seem like there's 24 hours in the day. They tell me that they don't feel motivated. They don't feel inspired. Other people who are regularly going to their jobs who still have to go to work, are saying that they're kind of drifting and spacing out when they're at work. I know that there were all these things that I wanted to do during this period of time. I thought, okay, I'll get all these things done. I haven't really been doing much of anything, but I've been very busy. So I don't know. The thing is, I don't want any of you to feel like you're not do, getting a new skill or not brushing up on your yoga or not doing all your fitness classes at home and not cleaning out your closets and don't feel guilty about that. We are going through a very serious time right now. We have a pandemic going on right now. This is something none of us has ever had to deal with before. No one who is alive right now ever had to deal with anything like this in our lifetime. It brings up a lot of stuff. It reactivates past trauma. It brings up anxiety, it brings up depression, it brings up incredible grief, it brings up fear. So be gentle with yourselves and just take care of yourselves. Get a lot of rest. A lot of people are telling me that their dreams are super vivid or that their sleep is very disrupted. Maybe they're staying up really late and sleeping in really late or maybe they can't sleep. So all of these things are happening. We are being disrupted. We are being reset on an energetic level. We are being reset. And today on Earth Day, we're going to do something about resetting ourselves in our guided meditation. Something else that I want to bring up that I think is very important. During this period of time, when we do have this time, there is something we all should be focusing on. In the news, we hear about, oh, this drug might work, or this antibiotic might work with this drug, or uh, we're going to look for a vaccine. All of that is great. I mean, let's, yes, the scientists, let's keep going. Let's see what we can figure out. Um, I, I have cats that have long hair, so occasionally I have a, a cat hair in my nose. Uh, all of that is great, except that nobody is talking about what you're doing to take care of yourself. Okay, everybody knows wash your hands. Everybody knows wear a mask. Everybody knows, you know, when you come in the house, clean off your groceries, take off your clothes, wash your clothes, if you may have been exposed. But what about the other things? We've got these food banks going. 
they're, they have food for people. People are freaked out. They don't know, will they be able to pay their mortgage? Will they be able to pay their rent? Will they be able to have food on the table for their families? This is a scary time for a lot of people. So back to the thing about don't bust yourself because you're not you know, getting all motivated and you know, having all this discipline. You know, screw that. That, that. That's from a yoga teacher who should really know better, frankly. But anyway, back to what we can be doing now. There are some very simple, inexpensive supplements all of you should be taking. They protect your immune system, and I'll tell you what each one of them is and why you should be taking them. They are not expensive, okay? Number one, get a vitamin C. Start taking vitamin C. Now there's ascorbic acid, and then there's a vitamin C that has bioflavonoids and maybe some enzymes in it, and some cofactors that help it be activated. Why is vitamin C so important? And it's not expensive, okay? Vitamin C is important because it supports your immune system and it supports your adrenals. Everyone's adrenals are drained right now because we're all a little hypervigilant, we're all a little anxious, we're all a little fearful, we're all aware, no matter what side of the fence you're on, we're all aware of what's going on, whether you want to start the economy right away or whether you don't think it's time to start the economy. The adrenals are pumping. The adrenaline is pumping, okay? So vitamin C supports your adrenals and your immune system, and it's not expensive, okay? That's the first one. The second one is vitamin D. In every case, I've been practicing for a long time in Santa Clarita since 1991 and before that in the valley. Every single patient I've ever seen who has been depressed or anxious is low in vitamin D. And I've talked to doctors at Cedar sinai who tell me, oh, the tests don't work. The tests don't work because we live in Southern California. There's no shortage of sun here. Well, not everyone can absorb vitamin D from the sun, number one. Number two, if you have darker skin, you can't absorb vitamin D from the sun. That's why African-American people, people with darker skin, uh, from India, etc. They can't absorb the vitamin D that they need from the sun because their skin is darker. Also, if you have any kind of underlying autoimmune situation, you cannot absorb vitamin D from the sun. And when you get the vitamin D from the sun, the sun has to be in the sky at a certain area at a certain time of day, depending upon where you live, for you to even get the vitamin D. I'm not saying you need to go out there and bake, but Get outside when the sun is high and get 15 or 20 minutes of vitamin D. And even doing that, you may not be absorbing it. I like to see vitamin D 80 to 100. At the very minimum, 60 to 100. I see 19, 18, 20, 22. I see those all the time. Almost everyone that comes into my office is low in vitamin D. Okay, so what happens if you're low in vitamin D? Number one. Your immune system isn't working well. Your immune system is compromised, okay? Second of all, you might be depressed. You might be anxious. You might not be sleeping well. Vitamin D is actually more of a hormone than a vitamin. And vitamin D is very, very protective in so many different ways. It's a really good idea, and it's not an expensive supplement. It's a very good idea to get a vitamin D that's with a vitamin K. It helps it be absorbed, and it's important better if you can get a vitamin D that's emulsified, that has some cofactors in it that's emulsified. It's more easily absorbed, especially for people who have a hard time absorbing vitamin D or who are already dealing with an autoimmune situation like Hashimoto's or low thyroid or lupus or rheumatoid arthritis or anything like that. And um, so vitamin D is really, really important. Last one, the big three, vitamin C, vitamin D and zinc. They say that some of the early symptoms for some people who have COVID-19, they lose their sense of smell and taste. Guess what? If you're low in zinc, you lose your sense of smell and taste. That's one of the symptoms of vitamin zinc deficiency. If you are low in the mineral of zinc, if, sorry, it's a mineral, not a vitamin, but if you're low in zinc, your immune system shot. That's why you've probably heard over the years, oh, you have a sore throat, suck on a zinc lozenge. Take zinc every day. Take zinc, take vitamin C, take vitamin D. Be proactive here to protect yourself. 
I don't think it's enough to just wash your hands, okay? Build up your immune system while you have this period of time, while we're sequestered like this. The other thing is, guess what breaks down your immune system? Guess what drains your C, your D, and your zinc? Refined carbohydrates and sugar. And that's what many people are going for right now because they want the comfort food. People are baking more, you know, they want more goodies. Kind of, you know, do the best you can to kind of limit those goodies and to amp up on your C, your D, and your zinc. The other thing about zinc is when you have a virus, even a low-grade virus, whether it's COVID or not, it just loves. It just, all the zinc in your body is gone. Your body is just all the zinc it can to kind of fight that. And your body loves it when you're low in zinc because it can really take hold. Whatever illness you've got can really take hold if you're low in zinc. So, people, vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc, okay? I've given you the heads up. If you have any questions about it, contact me privately, uh, post a comment after this video is over. This video will stay up, by the way, and uh, I'm gonna try and put it on YouTube afterwards too, later on tonight. So if you have any questions about where to get these things, if you can't find them, if you're curious about you know, what formulations, I have these things available in my office. You can get them, we will never see each other. Everything will be disinfected. And I have a certain way of setting it up so people can pick up things at my office without interacting with any other person. So if you need some help getting these things, like I said, they're not expensive. Don't cheat yourself right now. Okay, take care of yourself. Vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc. Okay? All right. And don't beat yourself up because you're not super motivated in learning another foreign language and repainting your kid's bedroom. And that's another thing, too. A lot of people have the kids at home and they're trying to juggle the kids at home, the kids doing the school remotely, making more meals instead of going out as much. Be kind to yourself, be gentle to yourself. One more thing, this relaxing time that I hope you're all having during this period of time, trying to stay as relaxed as you can, a relaxing period puts your nervous system in the parasympathetic mode. When you are in parasympathetic mode, that's when your body can heal. It cannot heal when you're doing this and doing that and going here and going there. So even if you're at home and you're not working and you're like, I got to paint the kid's bedroom, I got to do this, I got to clean out the closets, I got to organize the garage, I got to do this. You are not in parasympathetic mode. You are still in sympathetic dominant and your body can't rebuild, reset and heal. However, your body will be able to do that when we go into the guided meditation, which we're going to do in just a moment because in this guided meditation, you will be going into parasympathetic mode of your nervous system. Your body will have a chance to reset and heal. So let's get ourselves ready right now. A lot of people like to lie down. A lot of people, when we were doing this in class, we had the room full of people. Some people would put on a mask, you know, a sleep mask. So get yourselves comfortable. I'll give you a minute to do that. Okay, and make your phone so that you can hear it, but so that you uh, aren't going to be disturbed. And I'll give you a moment to do that. Again, any questions you have after this is over about anything I've said, feel free to put it in the comments or send me a note um, through a private message, whatever is working for you, or call me. That's fine too. Okay. So, getting situated now and getting ready to roll. Okay. Make yourselves very comfortable. Being comfortable is super important. The more relaxed you are, the more you can let go. If you want to change your position at any time, you can. You don't need to sit up. You don't need to have your eyes open. You can close your eyes and let go. You don't need to watch me. At the end, we'll all come back up again and 
we'll, you will watch the video for just a few moments while we close out. But right now, get your earbuds on, get your phone where you can hear it, and let yourself relax. If you have to change your position at any time, feel free to do that. If you are changing your position at any time, it just means that your body is releasing any excess tension, frustration, anxiety, or worry that has accumulated into your etheric field today. With each breath that you take, with each sound of my voice, allow yourself to relax more. Become aware now of your breathing. Notice your breathing beginning to change. When you breathe in, feel your stomach, your abdomen raise up. This is diaphragmatic breathing. If you're not allowing and feeling your stomach and your abdomen raising up or out, push it out for a first few breaths to get your breathing into the right rhythm. You don't want to be breathing from your chest, but from your abdomen. This will happen naturally once you start to relax. And when you exhale, feel your abdomen flattening or going down. Let's take a few breaths with the breath coming in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. We're going to end this meditation at 7.10, where we start to come out, and at 7.15, it will be completely over. For those of you who can take this time for yourself right now, you will benefit from resetting your nervous system. You will benefit from releasing any worries, concerns, fears, or anxieties. That's it, letting go. Anything that I say that resonates with you, being true and real for you, will be planted in your subconscious mind and allowed to grow. Only positive thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. Anything that I say that doesn't resonate with you or your belief system will easily be discarded, no problem. You don't have to think about this. You don't have to make a decision about this. Your higher self, the greater part of you, knows what is best for you. And as you continue to relax, I'm going to count from five down to zero. Each count will allow you to relax even more and let go even more. Starting on the count of five, feeling a relaxing sensation starting at the top of your head. You may be having thoughts, and that is fine. It's just your brain doing what brains do. You don't need to dwell on any of those thoughts. Just allow them to pass on through like fluffy white clouds in a beautiful blue sky. Even long-term meditators have thoughts. So not to worry about that. Just let them float by.
feeling a relaxing sensation starting at the top of your head and coming down over your scalp. Feel it moving down over your eyes, down over your cheeks. With your eyes closed, see if you can raise your eyebrows and lower them, raising them and lowering them, releasing any tension or muscles around your eyes. Focus on softening the area around your eyes relaxing and letting go. Any sounds that you hear that are regular, everyday, normal sounds do not disturb you. They allow you to go even deeper into your own inner experience. Feel the relaxing sensation coming down over your jaw. A lot of people hold tension in their jaw. Feel your jaw relaxing. Your upper and lower teeth parted. So that your upper and lower teeth are not touching each other. Your tongue resting comfortably in your mouth. Your lips may be parted a bit. That's fine. You may have a tendency to swallow, and that's fine too. You may also feel little involuntary muscle movements underneath your eyelids, and that's fine too. You're just releasing. You're letting go. You're giving yourself the gift of this time to reset your nervous system, to become realigned. Good. Feeling the relaxing sensation now moving down through your neck on the count of four. The front of your neck, the back of your neck. And coming down now to the top of your lungs Imagine your lungs, brilliant white, healthy, vibrant, full of life force, functioning perfectly. And right in the center of your chest, right at the base of your breastbone, is your thymus gland. Tap your thymus gland a few times if you like. It activates your T cells, which are the fighters at your immune system. It's where Tarzan hit his chest before he went swinging on the vines. It's about six inches down from your Adam's apple. Taking a nice deep breath now and feeling your shoulders relaxing and letting go. Your neck releasing both the front of your neck and the back of your neck. And your shoulders beginning to let go from the tops of your shoulders, down through your upper arms, down through your elbows, down through your forearms, down through your hands and your fingers. See if you can feel that relaxing sensation coming down through your shoulders and coming out the tips of your fingers. It feels like a tingling sensation. See if you can feel it. Yes. Good. Letting go even more now and coming down on three. Feeling your entire chest relaxing and letting go. Your heart chakra in the center of your chest. Imagine that you can see it if you put your head down even though your eyes are closed. 
See it spinning clockwise. Make sure it's spinning and it hasn't gotten stuck. That's it. Continuing down now through your torso, down through your diaphragm, your solar plexus. And in your mind's eye, with your eyes closed, imagine you are looking down at your solar plexus and you see your solar plexus chakra spinning clockwise. It's a beautiful golden color and it radiates outward in an etheric glow. It's very beautiful. Your heart chakra is activated as well, emanating a beautiful emerald green. That's it. Emanating outwards. These two colored lights are filling your entire being. The green light is going through your entire body from your heart chakra. At the same time, the golden light from your solar plexus chakra is spreading through your entire body. So your entire body begins to glow with this yellow green brilliant light, kind of a beautiful spring green with an otherworldly glow to it. And that glow moves through your entire digestive system as your entire torso now is glowing, relaxed, and functioning just the way it's supposed to, healthy and well. The glow comes up through your upper body, down through your arms, up through your face, up through your head. Your entire body is glowing this beautiful yellow-green glow. Perhaps you've seen that color green on your walks lately, or when you look outside and you see new spring leaves. The greens lately have been brighter and more clear than normal because the atmosphere of the earth is more clear, more brilliant. And continuing from three as the entire torso to the top of the head and down through the tips of the fingers is completely relaxed. Moving down to two now. Feeling your thighs releasing and letting go. Down to your knees. Down to your calves. Coming down your calves and coming down to your ankles and down to your feet on the count of one. Feeling all of the muscles, the bones, the ligaments, the tendons and fibers in your feet releasing and letting go. By doing this guided meditation, you are resetting your frequency. If you begin to drift, don't worry about it. Your subconscious mind will heal everything and hear everything that needs to be heard. Let yourself relax without worrying about focusing or paying attention. If you pay attention, that's fine. If you feel yourself drifting, that's fine. You may even feel yourself taking a rest or a nap or fading out. And that is fine too. That's a state called yoga nidra, which is a very fertile state for positive suggestions and resetting the nervous system. And now from the count of one, we're going down to even deeper to the count of zero. Allow yourself now to imagine that you can focus all of your energy going up your body into your third eye, but the inside of your third eye, as if you're seeing it from the inside of your body on the inside of your forehead. 
see your third eye on the inside of your forehead. This is a portal, a gateway. And in a moment when I count to zero, allow all of your attention and your energy to come up through your body and go in through that gateway using the tones that you will hear momentarily. Allowing your consciousness to float on those tones using the sound current to take you deeper and deeper into a vast inner space that is unlimited, unnameable, where creation occurs That vast, limited space is a healing space. It's also a space where answers can be found if you listen carefully, quietly, and often. But for today, we're going to go through that portal that you see on the inside of your third eye as a circle using the sounds of the tones to let your consciousness go even deeper with each tone and drifting deeper now to zero. That's it. And let your consciousness ride the sound current and go even deeper still Good. And let's see if you can go even deeper still, letting yourself go, riding the sound current of the tone. Very good. Very good. Feeling yourself drifting and floating. Drifting and floating as if you are being surrounded by and carried by loving forces. You can feel completely comforted, safe and protected. Surrounded by loving forces and surrounded by light as you feel yourself gently being carried to the exact level that is perfect for you right now as you go deeper and deeper and deeper. Good. Feel yourself now being let down on a park bench. You're sitting on a park bench now and you look around and you're in a beautiful park. There's no one there but you. You look around and you see beautiful flowers. You see that this is a well-maintained park there are shaped hedges, planted flower beds, it's daylight, the temperature is perfect, and you wonder what you are doing here, what's going to happen next. And as you look around, you see off to your right, there's a walkway and there's a sign and it's got a finger pointing and it says this way and you know of course the sign is for you and for you to walk on the path the way the finger is pointing so you get up off the bench there are birds butterflies 
You feel the breeze on your face. It's just a perfect temperature and environment. It feels wonderful and it feels very familiar for some reason. And as you begin to walk on this path, following the direction of the sign and the finger pointing this way, you feel yourself leaving the manicured area of the park and following the path out into a beautiful meadow. Beautiful flowers everywhere. The sky is perfect blue. Wonderful cumulus clouds floating by. It's just an exquisite earth day. And you give thanks for this beautiful planet. And you give thanks for being alive and being able to walk through this beautiful meadow. You can smell the flowers. There's a sweet smell, kind of a smell of acacia, mock orange hedges, which smell very sweet like orange blossoms. Many different flowers, butterflies, dragonflies. It's exquisite. And as you walk on the path, you see something in the distance. It looks like a, a little house or a little shed or a very small cottage. And you know you're supposed to walk toward it. So you do. And as you continue walking toward it, it becomes more clear. It's a beautiful little small cottage. It's got a sign above the door that you can't quite make out. But as you come closer, you start to see more and more clearly what the sign says. Over the door, it says, your name, apostrophe S, and below that, it says control room. This is your inner sanctum control room. Look at the door. It may be an old wooden door. It may be a metal door. It may be any kind of door you like. Take a moment to see the door. The door is locked, but you know the combination. Maybe it's a combination lock. Maybe it's a code that you punch in, or maybe it's a padlock, and you reach into a pocket, and you have the key. Take a moment to see the door, how it's locked, and how you can open it. That's it. Good. The door is open and you walk in. This is a beautiful space. It's cozy. And interestingly enough, it feels very cocoon-like. There really are no windows. It's very womb-like. It's a very yin space. Your inner control room is a beautiful space, though small, very comfortable. Take a moment to look around the room and see what's there. You notice there's a comfortable chair on the left. You notice there's a table next to it with a lantern on it. You're amazed that the lantern is glowing and was ready for you to arrive. There are velvets and soft fabrics. 
the colors that are perfect for you, the ones you like. It's very soothing. Take a moment to see it. See what it looks like. Are there rugs on the floor? Is it a hardwood floor? Are there tapestries? On the right hand side of the room, you see a table and another chair. You see that there are pieces of equipment on the table. It almost looks like a sound studio. There are knobs and there are little windows with levers that go to the left and the right. And you know you're supposed to sit down at that table and you know that this has been set up for you. And so you sit down at the table and you get a better look and you see what's really going on there. There are several knobs and each knob goes up to a sound window, a little half circle with a needle that goes on the left and moves over to the right. There are six of them, six knobs, six columns, and six windows. Each of the six are labeled. The first one is anxiety. Look at the level of where your anxiety has been. The needle in the window goes from left to right and from zero to 10. Look at the level of where your anxiety has been. Use the knob at the bottom of the column and turn your anxiety down to zero. That's it. Just turn it down. The needle, watch the needle go down. You turn the knob to zero and you saw the needle go down. The next column is hope. Look where the level of hope has been. Has it been low? Has it been middle? Has it been high? You can turn the level of hope. Turn the dial at the bottom to 10 and watch the needle at the top go to 10. You've just turned up hope to 10. The next column is health. Where has your level of health and self-care been? See where it is. Turn it up to 10. Turn up your self-care. Turn the knob. Watch the needle go up to 10. You're adjusting your self-care during this period of time to take better care of yourself than usual because of what is going on in the world right now. Using your vitamin C, just as we talked about earlier, your vitamin D and your zinc, those three, if you just do those three, that's a start. Now that your level of health and self-care is turned up to 10, we go to the next column. The next column is gratitude. Look at the level of gratitude you've been having. Could that be improved? Take the knob, turn the level of gratitude all the way up to 10. That's it. Watch the needle go from where it was 
all the way to the right, up to 10. And now we come to the last column. The last column is a column that you choose. That's something you may have been feeling. It may be a quality that you've been exhibiting in your personality. It may be something that you feel needs to be adjusted. Maybe it's patience. Maybe it's judgment. Maybe it's depression. Maybe it's worry. It's a quality that you want more of and or a quality that you want to have less of. Take a moment, see what that is for you. And adjust it. If it's a positive quality you want more of, turn the level all the way up to 10 and watch the needle go up. If it's a quality you want less of, turn it all the way down to zero. Watch the needle go down and turn the knob down. Good. And now that you've finished that, you notice there's a little button on the right-hand side of this piece of equipment, this, this adjusting, sounding, quality piece of equipment. And it says lock. And you notice it wasn't locked. It's a lever that goes off to the right. On the left it says unlock. On the right it says locked. It was unlocked. Push it to the right and lock it. You've now locked in all of these qualities at the levels that you want them to stay. Very good. Very good. This is your control room. It may seem strangely familiar to you. You may have been in this room before. You can come back to it at any time. But right now, you feel yourself wanting to go back over to the chair on the other side of the room. It's a very comfortable chair. It might even be a recliner where your feet can come up and your back can recline. You come over to the chair and you relax in the chair, closing your eyes, feeling comfortable, pleased with yourself for having done this adjusting, pleased with yourself for having reset yourself. And you sit down in the chair, close your eyes and relax and go deeper. Allowing yourself to drift deeply, letting go even more into that deep, unnameable, unlimited space within that is within each and every one of us. Allowing what you've just done to settle in and take root in your subconscious mind.
letting yourself go taking this time to allowing your mind to reset every part of your being all of your energetic frequencies to be reset to be realigned with the energy of Mother Earth. Feeling yourself being retuned, realigned, reharmonized, rebalanced.
it's time to begin to come back now. So you allow yourself to open your eyes in your mind's eye in your control room. Get up from the chair and walk out of the control room. No one will ever be in this room but you and it will always be here when you want to come back to it. You walk out of the control room and you lock the door behind you. And you begin back on the path through the meadow. Walking back through the beautiful meadow. Everything seems brighter and clearer. The colors of the flowers seem otherworldly almost. The air feels balmy and perfect. The butterflies, the dragonflies, the sounds of the birds, the smell of the flowers. You continue toward the path, coming back on the path to where you were on the bench before. Walking through the meadow and you see the bench in the distance. You continue walking through the meadow and it leads back to the path that takes you back to the garden where you see the bench. You are now approaching the bench and you sit down on the bench looking around the space, looking around the beautiful manicured garden with the planted flowers and the beautiful meadow in the distance with the path going through it. And you can see in the distance now your control room. You smile, grateful that you had this experience to adjust and reset yourself reset your nervous system, reset your emotions, reset your entire frequency. And as you sit on the bench, you become more aware again of that benevolent light energy that seems to want to lift you up and carry you. And you allow that to happen. Feel yourself being carried up, 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 off the bench and away from the beautiful manicured garden, up through what feels like the clouds, what feels like light. You can't even make anything out, but it feels very loving and very protective. And you are set back down into where your body was left, in the position you are in now, in the room that you are in now, beginning to come up on the count of one, feeling yourself back in your body in this time and place, coming up to two, feeling all parts of your being harmonized in balance, left and right brain hemisphere, male and female aspects of your being. Continuing up on three, feeling grounded and connected and in tune with the frequency of Mother Earth, realigned, reharmonized. Up to four, more aware of yourself, feeling your body on the surface upon which you're lying or sitting. And all the way up to five, one, two, three, four, five. Eyes open, wide awake, and allowing yourself to sit up now and look at the video. One, two, three, four, five. Sitting up now. That's it. Sitting up, wide awake, and back up here. 
looking at the video and we're going to do our closing ritual which seals this experience and everything you've done and solidifies it. There you are. Alrighty, so now watching me and you'll see we're going to do this three times and this is a ritual that seals this experience and protects you because we've been very open during this experience. Hands in the prayer position and press your palms against each other like this. Feel how grounding that feels. It feels very grounding. It's connecting your left and right brain hemispheres. And touch it to your heart chakra. We're gonna do this three times. This is the first time. Arms up over your head, turn your palms out like this and surround yourself with healing protective white light. That's it, all the way around you. Seal your entire etheric field and your auric field so there are no leaks. Sealing yourself with this positive energy and back to the prayer position, touching the heart chakra. This is the second time. Arms up over your head, palms out, sealing yourself all around you, all around your root chakra, down under where you're sitting. Make sure there's no open areas in your aura or your etheric field. And this is the final time to catch any spots you may have missed. Arms up over the head, palms out. That's it. All around you, east, west, north, south, above, below. That's it completely sealing yourself back to the heart chakra again. We've just sealed ourselves with protective white light where nothing negative can enter. Enhancing the strength of our immune systems, balancing our nervous systems, so only positive information can enter. Anything negative will bounce off and away from your white light shield. We always end when I do this live with an ohm. So I invite you to do the ohm yourself in the space that you're in right now with me. Take a breath and exhale. And one more breath. As a noun, I want to thank all of you for being here with me. I want to acknowledge you for giving yourself this time and this space to regenerate yourself, rebalance yourself. I wish you all a wonderful, beautiful evening. I look forward to seeing you again next Wednesday. We do this every Wednesday and it'll be up after it's over and I'll also put it up on YouTube. It's been my great blessing to be here with you. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Namaste. Now go out there and shine your light. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>